mother, mother's an act <coughs> mother was an actress, she's passed off now. Uh, and when I was 13, uh, she came downstairs and I was mucking around in the, in the vestibule and she said, child, you look like a girl, you sing like a girl, you act like a girl. There's a dozen dresses up there that no longer fit me, but they'll fit you. Go and earn yourself some money. That's how I did. Well, when I came back from, from leave, uh, I had long service leave, and uh, while I was away, I went into hospital and had all my bits and pieces changed around, and came back, and first day back on duty, I walked into my CEO's office, saluted, and he looked me up and down and he said, there's been some changes made. I said, you better believe it, sir. And he said, what's happened? I said, well, I've had gender reassignment surgery. He goes, oh. And I said, I suppose I'll have to resign my commission. He says, I'm not letting a good job nurse like you get, get away just because you have that little thing cut off. And so he issued orders that uh, I hand in my male uniform and get a female uniform which is rather fun because the poor corporal behind the, behind the counter was very sort of uh, flustered about what he was going to call me and sort of uh, asked me my bra size, uh, what's your bra size going to be sir, uh, ma'am, oh what the hell do I call you? And I says, ma'am, what you call <laughs> Well in this day and age I should hope that uh, nursing home staff are trained to uh, to accept the patient no matter how they present. Today, uh, transgenderism is so widespread that if they don't know about it now, then they've been playing the emu, sticking their head in the sand and their bum in the air. So, you know, uh, in my own case, if I develop dementia, uh, I would, because I'm fully transitioned, I don't think I'll have a problem. Uh, true, I've got a deep voice. I've always had a deep voice. So has my mother and my grandmother. Deeper than mine. Uh, I always say to people when they sort of challenge me on it, I say, learn to live with it. Bitch, I did. If they don't like it, they can live it. It's my life. I'll live it the way I want to. If I'm demented, uh, then I will probably revert back to an earlier an earlier age, uh, where I still thought of myself as female, so I don't think I'll be going back to my male persona, which I have long since smothered. Poor darling, died of hormone poisoning. Um, so uh, that won't worry me. Let's just hope that they all can speak Russian, because that's probably where I'll go right back to, my first language.